Hello, um, welcome to this evening's vlog. It's Christmas Day. Um, I'm not going to be posting this today. I'm going to record it because the premieres are on and there's enough going on, really. Um, so I might just add today and tomorrow together. I thought I'd show you my view. Uh, I may flick it around and show you me. I don't know. I'm not really in the mood. Uh, yeah, Christmas Day. Um, what can I say? Uh, <laughs> it started off okay. I put a little um, gingerbread house next to Sophie's head on her bed for her to open when she woke up. Um, <laughs> you could hear her rustling the um, paper for the box for it. And... Um, then she came into a saying, cake, cake. It was this gorgeous little house. I've actually had another one for um, the stepkid as well. But she wasn't here like she was supposed to have been. So um, we gave Sophie her Christmas present, which was like a copy of an outdoor Jenga kind of set. Um, now I'd like to get a toy box that it can go in. And, um, yeah, we'll see how we go with that. I'm actually going to, oops, wrong way, um, tip you that way. You're looking south over, well, southeast, over Hobart, northern suburbs kind of sprawl. Um, the, um, yeah, so then had a coffee. Well, well I was given a coffee. Um, cut up some brown bread. Had some brown bread with honey, marmalade and smoked salmon on separate pieces. And brought it into the bed and put my coffee on my tray table. And then Sophie decided that she wanted to go for her Jenga set again. Sorry, I'm using the name, but it's not actually Jenga. So yes, trademarks and all that kind of thing. The copy Jenga. And she's gone and upset the computer table and the coffee mug goes flying and that was the end of that nice period of day. Um, changed the sheets. Hubby put all the sheets in the wash. Um, two loads. Dragged the mattress outside. Not um, an easy task on your own with a queen size. He was um, perturbed at me, at my supposed lack of, I don't know, guilt for putting it, the coffee cup in a stupid place, unbalanced with Sophie. Um, I hadn't even got a chance. And he carts out my bed, the only thing that I can rest on. I'm kind of thinking, oh shit, now what am I going to do for the day? So then I change the kid's bed, because she's not here. God knows when we're, we were going to see her again. Um set myself up in her room at least I've got a TV the premieres are rolling anyway which is keeping me kind of company and I'm chatting on that um <laughs> I hope he doesn't say a word to me all day um and 20 to 5 the stepkid walks in the front door she's not meant to be here um if she was meant to be here on a Friday evening, she's meant to be here at five. She's never dropped off more than a quarter of an hour early and her being here is um, quite unprecedented from previous behaviors. So what she wanted happened. <laughs> I've tried not really to engage with her. It's the whole, I guess, nacho parenting. <laughs> Just try and disengage. Um, yeah, hubby and I haven't debriefed, haven't discussed anything. He brought the bedding in, and I don't know. That took its toll, and yeah. Anyway, it's a day. Put it that way. So we have her for the week. If this is how it's going to play out. Um, Instead of her going back to her mum for 24 hours, 
this afternoon because if her mother had bothered to read the orders um, she would have known that it was a Christmas changeover so she knew what she was doing yesterday by keeping her but at least the kid knew what she was doing by saying I change over on a Friday and it's Christmas and I want to go um, <laughs> previously the mother's just got away with keeping her um, maybe it's just because it's Christmas and to be honest every two weeks we're going to be sitting on tender hooks not knowing if changeover is ever going to happen during the holidays um, because of what's promised or not promised or whatever I don't know because we haven't heard a word from her um, I heard from two of my kids one of my well my my honor no my bonus granddaughter um, my middle son's new wife she has a daughter who's six um, she's diamond painting she's doing a diamond dot snowman um, Simon asked for some of the work that I had done do you think I could find any photos of any of the work I had done nope <laughs> I don't know where all my photos of finished diamond paintings are I've got all the ones of kits but None of actual diamond paintings, and it's like, oh man. <laughs> um, I said, go look at my channel. At the moment, I'm coordinating premieres, but um, yeah, had a text message from one the other boy. Um, haven't heard from anyone else. Um, yeah, and the premieres have been rolling. They've been rolling really well. Oh, there's been some hilarious chubby bunnies. Um, Karen from Diamond Painting with Anxiety, she is manager, I guess, of a shelter. It's kind of a halfway house, I guess, where people and families can move in for, I think she said, three months to a year. Um, I didn't quite understand it, but every Saturday night they get kicked out. There's a deep clean and they get kicked out for the night, and I think then they come back for the rest of the week. I might have to ask her a bit more about that. Um, her video, though, for the Christmas premieres, excuse me, <coughs> she gave us a walk through the shelter because there was no one there because of the deep clean. Um, she gave us a walk through of the shelter and just really, um, I guess, resonated in quite a few of our hearts to do something for them. Um, whether it's fundraising monetarily, whether it's donations um, of physical gifts. Um, they have a list of what they need, a list of what they would want, I guess, a list of minimum requirements, a list of dreams. And um, yeah, we need to get some heads together and um, see if we can make something happen for the residents, let them know that they're loved and that we so appreciate what Karen and her charity does. It's a not-for-profit um, organization. I think it's called Lighthouse. Um, and uh, yeah, we want to do something. So stay tuned for more on that. Um, I think what we might do, I know this is a January DP-a-thon and it's not going to be part of the DP-a-thon. It's going to be a separate thing. Uh, Marissa does her fundraising. Um, in I think the middle of the year in the June DP-a-thon um, so Sherry actually suggested Valentine's Day and I think if we were to do like a, a love-in um, on Valentine's Day or Valentine's weekend kind of period middle of February um, maybe we can get some heads together I'll get some advice from Marissa I'm not going to overtax Marissa because she fundraises for St. Jude's. I just want to use her expertise. Um, brain picking and all of that kind of thing and um, maybe see if we can, I don't know, sell stuff, auction stuff, um, do something for this community. They can have up to 12 families in this shelter and um, they can range, they can often have up to 30 children there. Karen has been doing the path with the residents. She has done diamond paintings with the residents. Um, so diamond painting is certainly something that we can send if you want to de-stash that they can be sent to Karen. Um, maybe she can use extra kits, but again, I'll get what she actually needs, not what people want to offload. Um, 
to her, but they do certainly go through uh, diamond paintings like it's water, apparently. But if you want to have a look at that video, have a look at the um, walkthrough, please go and check out um, Diamond Painting with Anxieties video in the premieres this year. Um, I think it will probably move your heart. Um, and if there is some way, shape or form that you can help, please message me um, once you've seen my vlog and watched that video. And uh, we can maybe get our heads together and do something for them. Um, and show that, you know, we give a shit. Because it's sometimes hard to claw your way back from nothing, sleeping on the streets. Um, at whatever stage they're at, for whatever reason they're at. And, um, yeah, see what we can do for them. So, there's that. Um, I suppose that's the, the two positives that should come out today. Sophie, of course, is thrilled that her sister is here. Um, and, um, yeah, I suppose we've got the rest of the evening to uh, get through. Um, yeah, so I'll add this into a video tomorrow. I'll uh, see how we go. And, um, yeah, enjoy the premieres as we're going. And um, give me all the feedback. <laughs> when it's all over and tell me how exhausted you are and how many marshmallows you've eaten and uh, yeah uh the chubby bunny challenge has certainly been very very funny um yeah it's been um it's been a lot of fun watching them and i haven't necessarily spoken in all of the premieres but i have been there for a lot of them um so yeah um it's just been a day and yes mental health and all that kind of thing um, yeah, trying to be kind to myself. I um, certainly pushed it a bit too much and I need to actually get away from sitting up now with my tea because I'm sitting wrong from my back. Um, so I'm going to take a break before this shuts me off and says, you're out of battery or space or something again. All right. Uh, take care and I will see you in the next clip. Bye for now. Hello and um, welcome to Saturday night. Um, I'm actually sorry, I'm going to move you just a brief second. Um, it's, uh, I think, coming up to eight o'clock in the evening. Rachel is about to do her last video, but I wanted to kind of come on and talk very, very briefly in the, the gap that I've got between Beth and Rachel. Um, the, the premieres have just finished and it's like now what <laughs> it's a bit weird um or finishing um and yeah by the time this goes up it'll be over and it's like time for replays and and that kind of thing um if you are a subscriber to my channel i hope you have got along to some of the premieres and you've enjoyed that um i know the creators have certainly um put some love sweat and tears into their videos um some people have been very stressed about uh, performing not performing but you know being on um the whip and chat for you some people are not used to recording that long um we have now found a second dulcet tone in beth minton um so <laughs> maybe she'll get into um reading some stories and lull people to sleep like rachel does so, um, yeah, now, um, throughout this bunch of premieres, I have heard stories from people who have had, um, families, very close members of family come down with COVID or, um, close family members have suddenly become sick and had falls and, um, one of was in surgery during the premiere and um, things like that and it's just for me it's heartbreaking to know that there are people out there that are hurting so much and um, <laughs> it feels like there's very little we can do remotely um, which maybe is why I wanted to do something for Diamond Painting with Anxiety Karen and the home there um, I don't know, maybe it's just something tangible. Uh, from my point of view, it's the other side of the world. I can't even recall at the moment where Karen is in the States. Um, 
possibly Illinois, but um, you know, for me in little old Tassie, why don't I look at my own backyard kind of thing? You know, it's there's plenty of what we call bogans here, people on the down and outs, but um, yeah, I don't know, it's a bit bit different. Um, so yeah, and I'm I'm trying to think of you know church pastors who have set up homes for various facilities uh, for various things like home for pregnant girls to go to the relate church in canada did that and then they ended up doing one in sydney as well with hillsong and um things like that just uh, ways that are very similar in some ways to the shelter that karen has done um or works at um so um yeah it, uh, sorry, I'm probably just getting a little bit poignant. We've had a 14-year-old killed on a motorbike here in a nearby suburb yesterday on Christmas Day, and whoever was at the scene has taken the motorbike that he was riding away, so he's crashed into some kind of pole. But, you know, that kind of tragedy, there's been crashes all over the state. There's been, I think, somebody... Um, tried to run down a police officer who was on a motorbike up north um, these are all things that I hear on the media and um, it's just it's crazy um, it really is a crazy world and I guess we're trying to bring a little bit of humanity into it um, I've seen the same faces popping up in the chatting um, to be honest in, in a lot of them um, it's the same folk but the numbers for the people in the room have been much, much greater. So I hope that even though there's the silent few that um, they've gotten something from somebody, you know, whether it's some, most, all, one. Um, I, I really do believe in the the value of the one, um, you know. Um, so, yeah, I hope that it has helped uh, in some little way in whatever place in the world you are in this time uh, this year in 2020 and um, well let's see what 2021 brings us and <laughs> yeah we'll go from there um, hubby left early this morning to go shopping for a vacuum and then he started playing downstairs and he's got plans for he's made a vortex thing out of um, a couple of bins and um, then he's gone and made pizza which I've just finished which was delicious so um, yeah so um, Rachel's um, video has just gone live so I'm going to go jump in with that and um, I will probably put last night's and tonight's together so you've got a video for the morning and I will do a wrap up tomorrow after I've had a sleep and maybe zoomed through some other people's videos as well and I think I've got about 12 hours to catch up on because I slept for two nights <laughs> um, where some people did not you crazy people um, so yeah um, I do want to catch up on them and um, but there's not so much behind the scenes this year as last year I didn't know what I was doing last year this year it all seemed to kind of go quite cruisy it was just rounding up the few errant few that were late um, but we got there um, we did so successfully. It was great. So, um, let me see if I can remember how to flick this. No, nope. <laughs> wrong one. Oh, come on. No. Hello. It's supposed to be turning around to me, but it's not doing it. Maybe it doesn't turn when it's recording. Okay, so you're not going to get me on camera. Um, all right, so yeah, I'll um, wrap it up and I will talk to you tomorrow. All right, thank you very much for joining me and take care, please. Bye for now.